Good morning. Robert Davis back with you. Hey, uh, today we're going to continue on with our rapid prototyping and do uh, related tables. So let's get right into it. Fire up Delphi here and start a new VCL application. And then I got to move some out of the way. And then uh, we're going to add the other database data module. Let's expand that out a little bit. Then we'll go over here to data access and grab a T client data set and drop it on the form. And let's uh, let's give it a meaningful name. CDS Master. What else we got here? Oh yes, the file name for our storage. Here we go. Use a directory that I've been using for temporary stuff. Nested tables dot XML. Okay. Let's go back over and get a T data source. Drop it out on the form. We'll give that a meaningful name. Uh, connect it to our data set. CDS master. Here we'll go to the fields editor for the CDS master and we'll add some new fields. The ID field, auto link. You don't have to put a size for that. L name for last name. String 25. Okay. Control N. M name for middle name. String 25. Okay. L name for last name. String 25. Okay. Control N for a new field. We'll do phone. String 14. And email. String, we'll make it a hundred, just in case some people have long email names. And then finally, detail, and we'll make that a data set. And click OK. Now we got that set up, let's move it up here. We can close that. Let's get another client data set. Because we're doing related tables here. We want to give this a meaningful name. DS Master. Oop. Fields Editor, Control-N for New Field, ID, Auto-Ink, 
OK. Control N, Part, Whoop, String, Fifty. Control N, Amount, Currency. Okay, now we can close that. Give this a meaningful name. CDS Detail. If I could spell. Now, we'll assign the uh, data set field to master detail. And let's go over and get a data source for CDS detail. Well, I have hand trimmers. <laughs> Sorry. And give that a meaningful name. DS Detail. And the data set is CDS Detail. Okay. Let's open up the fields editor again. Oh, create data set. Yeah, I'm sorry. We had to do that. And we need to use the data module unit in unit four. Unit three, I'm sorry. I'll expand this a little bit. Get the fields up. Select unit three or the main form. Select the fields we're going to use. We don't need to use ID because that's taken care of internally by the component. So select. And we don't need the detail field that's taken care of by the component too. So let's put a reasonable length on these. I believe it's 329. Yes. Get a DB Navigator. Slide that up to the top there. Stretch it out a little bit. <clears throat> and assign the data source. CDS master, a data source master. And we'll get a DB grid for the related table. Well, <laughs> if I can get it. Then we'll tidy this up here a little bit. Okay, now we need to assign that, the data source to the DB grid. So there it is, CDS, I mean DS detail. And you see the fields there. We uh, go to the columns editor and we can select all and then ID we can delete. And then we'll narrow this down so we get everything on the, on the page, on the form. Oh, 
Okay. Just checking here. Just checking. I believe we can run this puppy. And then save all this new folder. Give it a reasonable name. We'll call it Nested Tables test. Double click and I'm just going to save the defaults. There we go. And it's running and it's ready. You can see that. Put myself in. And will give me some parts. It's pick fifteen dollars. Pot holder seven fifty. And finally, Goo Gone it removes latex paint, in case you wanted to know. Okay, and then post that record. Uh, those two tables. Add a new one. My lovely bride. some fictitious details. I used my real ones, but I won't do that here. And she's getting a vacuum cleaner. 275 dollars. And she's gonna get vacuum bags, of course. Twenty-five dollars. And we'll post that. You see we've got the record saved in related tables. Relationship holds. You see we scroll back and forth and everything's updated. So we can close this. And do the plugins XML tools pretty print to format it for us. There we go. You see our records are there. Good to go. You can close that for now. Or minimize it, that's it. Now run this baby. Add a new record. Put my best friend in there. Some fictitious phone and email. And he loves cars, automobiles, motorcycles, whatever goes fast. So he's going to get turtle wax.
Armor all. 1750. Fighting type. And an oil filter. Twenty seven fifty. And we can scroll through the records and you see they're all there. And everything's related like it should be. Let's go to the data module and select the module itself. Then go to the on destroy event, double click that and put in CDS master dot merge change log. And that'll get rid of those strings and numbers. But of course to do that you have to make a change. So it will update the file. So what we'll do is go to my wife's record and add her maiden name. Ramon. And then post that. Close that. Go back to the XML file. It's been updated, so yes, we want to do that. Do the plugin XML tools pre print. There you see all our changes, and now we don't have those change log strings of numbers. And once you turn this into a full blown application, you can import that XML data if it's real stuff. So let's dress this up a little bit. We want the position to be screen center. I have two monitors and if you do desktop center, it'll get split between the two. Okay, give it a new caption that makes sense. Customers dash. Client data set. Nessa table. And we'll also do a little eye candy here by going to project options. Appearance. And select a nice style for it. I like sky, and that's good. Save. Now run it and see what we get. There we go. It's got the style, the header, it's centered desk, uh, centered screen. Everything's still there. And that's all there is to it. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I've enjoyed making it for you, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks. Bye.